Shalom, my brothers and sisters. I come to you to talk with you about how Donald Trump is going to be in Atlanta, Georgia tomorrow. I find this very strange as to we already had one bridge that was blown up, which was I-85 North. Then I-20 East has a crack in it and it's out. You understand what I'm saying? Why would Donald Trump come to a city that's broken down and can't help itself right now? There is a flu pandemic going on. At the same time, we are experiencing the lungworm disease. Nine new cases have been found in the United States, and no one's doing anything about it. It is a flesh-eating brain parasite. Somebody has to talk about these things. Somebody has to say something. But I thank my father for showing me these things and showing me, <coughs> excuse me, what to protect myself from. Very soon I will be telling you the drinking water is no good. So I'm going to tell you in advance. <clears throat> They're going to be poisoning the water with little devils. And these little devils, worm blood, is going to go inside of you. And that is going to make you become zombies. They have a lot of these diseases. And Atlanta is the CDC control center. Like, with all the diseases that in the United States have. Oh. Now, back in September, they had a transformer I was just whole block about. I had a friend girl who worked at a restaurant, Kenny Corner for me. And she was telling me how uh, she felt real strange it was after my son's birthday. Because I told her, I said, oh, the, the Lord woke me up at such a, a, a time like this. <laughs> I was like, something get ready to happen, I don't know, you know, and that was all during the time of Feast of Trumpets and all of that stuff, and I didn't really know anything about any of that stuff at that time, and um, she, um, she said she went to work feeling strange. She said somebody drove into the CDC, and so the whole power of the block was out, and they had it all roped off for like a mile, she said, and so it just so happened one of her customers had never been over here, but in any case, just to say that. Anything can happen. And he gonna be here and he talking about you going to Coca-Cola factory. No, he he's doing more than going to Coca-Cola factory. They say he got a speech. What speech is he supposed to be delivering? Do y'all know? Is this the speech that's gonna change America and they don't want it to get out? I don't know. But putting the key things together, why would a president, a white president come to a black <laughs> city called Atlanta, Georgia, where the bridges is out <laughs> and the CDC is right there. I don't like it. I don't like it. I I'm ready to go back into the land now. I don't even want to have to wait until after his speech. I, I want to go back into the land now. I don't want to have to wait anymore because I'm, I'm tired of seeing what every day how these meat eaters how they go around and they kill people you don't see vegetarians going out murdering people creating false flags doing all these things for Lucifer you will reap what you sow. And if you sow good seed, you shall reap a great harvest. But the enemy always comes along and he sows tares along. And he messes up. But let it all grow together. Let it all be pulled up and be grown together in the barn to the end. The harvest is the end of the world. It's the end of the age. <laughs> this world ain't over. 
this world ain't over. We ain't yet reigned. The children of Israel ain't yet reigned on this earth yet. So this world is not over. The age is coming to an end of the Gentile. Yes, your end is coming. For all the destruction that you have caused. Some will have taken under our God, our Father, the true Father, the Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I urge you now to repent, for time is short and the ark is closing. Talbutus. will make history tonight as it shines in the sky. I really, really want everyone to get into the kingdom. Some people will take the easy way out. They'll take the first exit they get. Some of these people what leave on government aircraft. Be careful. Be careful. Don't trust anything that doesn't remotely look like your answer. If you remember, they came against Aaron in the cave. These tall white men showed up. They said they were real pretty, pretty, clean. And Aaron said, you don't look nothing like my people. That should let you know. He was a Negro. <laughs> he said, you don't look nothing like my kin. You don't look nothing. So at the end of the day, you got to trust what you know. But for all y'all Gentiles out there, for y'all who have taken on the covenant under Israel, under Abraham, Abraham Isaac, and Jacob. I ain't created a new word. <laughs> Those who have taken under that covenant, all the nations who take under that covenant shall be set. And everybody else will lead them to damnation. They will lead and will take the mark. They will take the mark. Some of them already have the mark. And some of us already have the seal, the cross, and the warrior seal. Every day, my seal gets darker. It shows to the world. But it is what it is. I am my father's daughter. And I would serve him for the life he's gone from my life. And even then, in the spirit, I will continue to serve him. I will not fail. We all make mistakes. We all sin. No one's perfect. But in repentance, and those with a pure heart get to see the face of their God. And that place where I see them in the image. Yahshua is the image of the living God. He is the image. You cannot know the Father without knowing the Son. And if you don't accept the Son as being the living image of the Most High, with his flames of fire, blue eyes,
and his bangs that goes here. His hair, he has bangs and hair that goes to here in the front. It's short. He has a short beard. It's nice and it's neat. It's beautiful. Even the hairs are a lot on his chin, I swear to God. If you look into those eyes, you will get lost in a trance. Because you have seen the image of the living God. He said, you have seen me. You have seen my father. He is real. And he is coming for his children. He is coming. Are you ready? For the second coming. Are you ready? Because I am. This is hard. To come and to tell you. About this kingdom. About this place that I've been to. My father lives in me, and he is deep inside of me, and every part of my fibers of my body. I am my father's daughter. I give my life, my heart, my soul, my mind, everything to him that he needs. My every word, my every direction you have no idea <laughs> he's coming <laughs> repent please he's coming you don't want to fall in judgment because you did not accept the truth he has blue eyes and the flame is so pure the deepest blue eyes that I ever see. I am my father's daughter. In him I will trust. He is my shield. He will always protect me. He will never leave me or forsake me, and this I know. And I want you to feel like me. If you belong to the children of Israel, you should be crying out to your father. You should be reaching out. Because there is no time left. Judgment is coming. And they're preparing for the East Coast tsunami of the nuclear explosion. Their testing stops May 8th. You want to know why it stops May 8th? Because May 9th is Passover. And they've figured out something that we haven't figured it out. And I keep trying to tell you that this Passover shall be different. It shall be different than any other Passover. Something major is getting ready to happen. I don't know what it is. But he's given, he's given everyone's dream to tell people but I tell you, please repent. Turn from your ways before he removes your candlestick. Please, it is important that you keep your candlestick. Because if you 
actually moved it. There is no light in you. And you can't survive without light. You become darkness. Accept the truth. That there is a queen of heaven. And that God our father is God our mother too. That he split himself in two. To conceive. Yeshua. Understand. That's why it's a virgin birth. That's why. Guys don't understand. Don't fall for the demiurge. That's all I can tell you. People will try to tell you one thing. They'll try to tell you that. that Jesus is the devil. In that name was a lot of power. But we don't use that name anymore. Only because when and this all goes down and the people call out for Jesus, the Antichrist, Satan, will be like, here I am, here I am, here I am, I am here, you Jesus. So it is best that you know the true name. It was only after I learned the true name did I get to see him face to face. Only then. You guys don't understand. Father's coming to lay judgment. You guys think judgment is at the end. It's not. Judgment is not at the end. It's not at the end. He's about to judge this world. And the U.S. is at the top of this list. Protect yourselves, protect your family. Stay in the spirit. Worship him in truth and in spirit. He didn't say in, in the flesh, he said spirit. Please trust him to lead you. He is the only one the image of the living God is the only one. This image is Yahshua. If you not accepted the truth, you shall fall into judgment. That Yahshua is the Son of God, of our Heavenly Father. And he's coming for the first fruit. He's coming for his elect. When he takes his elect up out of here, the world will be amazed. The world will be amazed. All I know is I feel great. And I had a whole day to think about everything. Today's my son's birthday. And even though we don't celebrate birthdays, he also has the same day that my mother was born. 
And um, today, that day is special for me because the boo test makes history today on the 28th on my mother and my son's birthday. So I just got off the phone with my mother and I was, you know, of course, I always sing to her when she sang to my son. It just so happens that we're all up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm 6.38 right now and I've been talking to you for 20 minutes, so. Father's coming. Prepare the way for his son. Make more room for Yahshua. So I am preparing the way for the king. I am preparing the way. He is coming. And if you endure to the end, if you just ask yourself, would you rather go first, beg to be up out of here, or would you rather endure to the end? Which one would you prefer? See, he already knows what you want. He knows what your needs are. And he knows what your desires are. But the truth of the matter, he knows that every man's heart is filthy. And only those with a pure heart get to see the face of their God. And I have seen the face of mine. And when I see my brother, I also see my father. I'll never forget. I'll hold on to that. The enemy probably will mimic red fire eyes. Because everybody in the world associates fire with red. See, he can't trick me. He can't deceive me because I've seen my father. <laughs> And those who acquire, if you ask, if you ask, you shall receive, right? And you seek, right? You shall find. So if you ask, and you shall receive. If you seek, you shall find. And if you knock, the door shall be open unto you. And let me tell you something. I can tell you back in November where I've seen spiritual doors appear in front of me. I'm running in my bed, and a door appeared, and it was open, and it closed. I watched it close, and I was like, hey, wait a minute. What's going on? Hey, why is that door closing? And then I literally watched another door open right to it. It literally, it just appeared. And then the door opened. It literally opened in front of me. This small door. And I said to myself, <laughs> either I've opened the can of worms, <laughs> or I've opened the door to eternity. And eternity I will hold on to. I will hold on to that. Because around that same time <laughs> is when my son said he seen the same thing I had seen. Yahshua, the same way I see our God. Same way. <sighs> I don't know what else to tell you. But to tell you to be ready, <laughs> ask him to give you signs. He's showing you already. He's giving you all these miracles in the skies. He's showing you. He 
is showing you. This is such a joyous thing to know that your father is coming to save you. <laughs> and he's coming to judge. And he brings war with him. But those that are in his bosom, you shall be protected in that day. Because in that day, you will know not to leave. You will know not to go outside in judgment. And if you know, I haven't posted the videos, but I'm going to post the videos. But you guys really need to get the Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Oh, that girl put it down. That girl put it down. Do you hear me? Let me tell you something. She says in her words, okay, and I quote, As with Yahshua, when he was resurrected from the dead, it took him three days in the ground and he was resurrected. It's going to be just like that. It's going to be three days, three and a half days of darkness. It is come. It says it in there. It's going to be, it's going to be a great darkness. It's going to take three, three days, three and a, I don't know if I can hold up a little picture of, wait, let's see if I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a little pinch of a <laughs> Yahshua was coming in, in, in like three and a half days, right? So the three and a half days that this is how it's gonna happen. Y'all thinking it's gonna be a long time? No, no. It's gonna be a time worse like no other. Because those three and a half years also represent days. Days is years and years is days. See, they got everybody thinking. And y'all hear that it's going to be three and a half years. But he told you that the days represent the years and the years represent the days, right? So why did y'all take for face value that it's going to be three and a half years? It's going to be three and a half days of darkness. And then what is going to happen? The second coming is going to happen in three and a half days. And those who have been taken before those three and a half days, y'all is screwed. Because we are more blessed who stay behind. You have to stay behind. You have to. If you go for the false light, because there's going to be a false light that's going to be in the sky. And if you go for that, it's going to provide some kind of suction or whatever. You're going to be able to go up. So those people who had dreams of, of, of light beaming over them and taking them into the sky, you have fallen for the false light. Because the rapture is the second coming. The second coming when the angels proceeded in front of him. And he appears in the clouds. And he's on his white UFO, his chariot, his, his throne in the sky. And the angels are proceeding in front of him. And he, they say, he go get his elect. Because now he's about to take up out of the world his elect. Everybody going to see. Don't fall for that fake false light. It is a false light. Remember, judgment is coming. It is coming. You guys don't understand. The true Passover is coming. The great exodus is getting ready to start. We're getting ready to go back into the land. Why do you think all this war is over there in the land? They're fighting over the land because those who control the land control the new world order. All those people... It's like 10 countries right now fighting over that land. Remember, Obama had a meeting with 72 nations before he left office. You got to understand, Obama is the evil one. And I don't care who hears it. I don't care who says what I said he is. You could believe whatever. But I'm telling you that he is who he is. Straight up. And y'all need to know who Donald Trump is. Because he ain't who you think he is. You think he is saint? He ain't no saint. He don't even repent. He said he do stuff so he don't have to repent. It don't make no sense. You're supposed to repent. Sometimes you might think a thought. 
and you repent for that thought. Because sometimes thoughts appear in your head. So you tell me that only, just if you only if you do something, that's when you repent. No, you repent if you have a thought that is not of yours. And you repent. You stay in repentance. And do not steal. Do not covet anything that is not yours. Do not covet. Do not covet. Yahshua is coming. He is the Son of God. He's coming. I've seen him. I've seen him. I read the Aquarian of Jesus. Not all the way yet. Him and Mary Magdalene had so much passion. They had the best love. He is the image of the living God. And he came to do his father's will. And as a gift of doing that will, he was given the will. I just want you to know that there's a Peter out there somewhere. There's a lot of people out there. A lot of people. There's a Peter, there's a James, there's a John. There's a lot of people out there. All the disciples, they're incarnated. And either they haven't found out who they are yet, or they're just now coming into it. But a lot of these people are going to be a part of the elect the 12 tribes best believe it baby we leaving up out of here y'all gonna see us leave up out of here we gonna have wings we will have wings we will leave up out of here we will fly up out of here and there's nothing that your evil chariots can do to stop us why because he said for the elect's those days will be shortened. That's when them years become days. <laughs> Three and a half days. Because they about to get their little time. And y'all better be ready. Stay in repentance. Stay in repentance. They are targeting vegans and vegetarians. That way you know. They're targeting the RH negatives. It's the reason why they're targeting us. They're coming after all of the Most High's children. They come to make war with all of these children of God. See, you think you might be a children of darkness, but you might be the children of light. It's just the light hasn't been activated in you yet. But if you can just seek the light out, it will come to you. The kingdom is inside you. I've seen the kingdom. I've even, like, I've even seen writing, which is so weird. Like, I don't know where I, I'd be going, but this particular place in my mind has, um, it glows. It glows. And we, I got to post up some other videos. I got to post, because you might not understand what I'm saying, but it glows, right? So it glows, and it's so small, but it glows, and it gets bright, and it gets bright. Well, it got, I seen some inscriptions, some subscriptions, inscriptions, engraving, or whatever inside of it, and um, please respect my room. And um, I seen some engravings. And it had some kind of words. And I don't know what it said. But I was trying to zoom in on it. But you know what I'm saying? If you're not in concentrate mode. And sometimes stuff gets shown to you sporadically. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen a white man shooting somebody. 
So some white man is going to be, he's a shooter. And I don't know if it's that man that's on the stand that he shot his wife from the back seat or whatever in that car with their friend or whatever. But I seen this white guy, he had, he, he shot somebody and he had a suit on. So it could be somebody else. And he had a nine millimeter gun and he was aiming at somebody. And I don't know who he was aiming at. It wasn't me, but it was just a vision that came in. I, it's kind of almost like being Professor X. Like with my telepathy, I can... I, I guess I'd be sometime I'd be connecting to the other elect. It's so weird. I see a, a lot of um, pictures of people that I've never seen before inside of my head. So I don't know what that means. Um, I just know that whatever gift that I have is a very powerful gift. And this gift will only be used for my father. And I, I'm thankful for it. I'm just learning how to use it. People say in their minds that they think that the Most High comes back in 2019. They believe the Second Coming comes in 2019. What do you think? Can you guys comment below? I'm going to comment first and tell you what I think. But I know that the Most High is coming for his children and that his first fruits are also Yahshua's first fruits. The Trinity is real. Understand, either you accept the gifts that the Most High give you or he will take them away. I accept them all <laughs> and I give them back to him. Thank you, Father. <laughs> because at the moment that you give it back, you receive. Thank you. In a minute, I will be able to tell. I already have a discerning spirit about who's evil and who's not. But in a minute, I will be able to see the mark of the beast on them. Because some of those who have already taken the mark, the RFID chip inside their head or in their hand, to buy, sell, or carry. See, that's what I'm saying. They need that mark to buy. That's the only way that you can get food is if you have that mark. And so you know it has to be something that's implanted into your hand in order for you to be scanned to get that, to get whatever you're trying to buy. In my vision, when the Lord come back, I didn't have any money or anything. And the, the lady said, the lady didn't tell her how many to make for me. So that lets you know that I did not take the mark. Because somebody who already had the mark bought me and my children food. Donald Trump just ordered a whole bunch of caskets. As many caskets as the people that are in our forces serving our great country. They promised our father that they would do this willingly. And that was the reason why they were given this land. And they have turned it into Sodom and Gomorrah. But what you don't understand, this is the same Babylon where they crucified. See, at one point, all of this was connected. 2,000. 
I'm not even gonna lie. These things were, these lands were connected. We are in tune. We are in Canaan land. Don't the name Canada <laughs> ring any bells for y'all? Or must they just trick y'all with they map that they had made up over there? Some of us was already in this land. We were here when it started. Before they put their flags on this ground saying that they found this place, we were here. Some of us were already here. Y'all don't pay attention to that. 